Alright, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a very basic uh, Cisco switch or router uh, setup procedure. Uh, this this uh, uh, procedure will work just to get the just just mm, just to get the device uh, up and running and working. Uh, I'm going to be using Packet Tracer, newest as of 2021. Uh, this, this program's like 20 years old now, I think. Uh, so we're just going to go. We're going to be using a 2960 switch. Default settings for uh, putty or terminal or whatever, um, whatever this virtual terminal thing is. Um, so yeah, so now we're gonna go to. What am I doing here? Oh, okay, so now we're gonna go to enable. Uh, we're gonna go click the terminal. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set a host name. Uh, I'll set this to switch. No, I'll set this to. I don't know what to set this to. We'll just do SW1. Um, that'll set the switches host name. Obviously, uh, you should use Cisco or networking naming conventions. So that'll be um, F1, F, F1, R1, or whatever. I, I, don't, I don't know them off the top of my head. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to do... Um, this will uh, give us a pass, the, uh, enable secret, and then your password will we'll give you a password um, for user exec mode. Uh, next, we're going to do line con zero. This will get. This is going to secure our. Uh, now we're going to set a password for line con zero, which is line console zero, which is our console port. Um, so this will make sure that uh, if somebody wants to console into your Cisco device, they will have to enter a password. Um, now uh, we're going to log in to continue using the console port, or else we'll get booted out. Uh, next thing we're going to want to do, we're going to go to exit. Uh, we got a switch. Now we're going to do line VTY04. Um, this will get us into the, uh, the VTY thing. Um, I forget what that's called. I, I'm used to the abbreviations. Um, now we're going to set another password. Uh, it's going to be password. I'm going to do it as Cisco again. Now we're going to do login. Uh, next thing to do is we should go. We need to go back to global config. What am I doing here? Now we're going to do service password encryption. This will encrypt the, the plain text passwords and turn them into encrypted passwords. Um, and just like that, it uh, now the passwords are encrypted. Now we're going to do a banner or, or a message of the day. Um, this will display when the Cisco router boots up. And, any, and it's like a legal barrier, kind of. It'll say like, you know, unauthorized access or company name or uh, whatever your employer or whoever wants. Um, now we're just gonna... And uh, if you want more info on how to configure Cisco banners, I did a whole nother Thing on that so i'm just going to do unauthorized access only um or authorized access only um that should be enough uh and now we need to set the ip and ip subnet mask in the default gateway so, so we're going to go into vlan one there we go we're going to go to vlan one now we're going to do ip address the most simple command in all of um Cisco networking. Um, this is not this. This is not the default gateway. Um, this is only the IP for the router itself. And now the subnet mask, which is going to be two five five two five five zero or whatever your network has. Um, usually, it's just two five five for all those. Uh, and now we're going to enable this with no shut no shutdown. And that will change the VLAN state to up. Um, now what we're going to do, we're going to go back to global configuration mode. We're going to do IP default gateway. Now we're going to do set this to 192.168.1.1. Uh, this is the default or fallback or last resort gateway. Um, and this is, yeah, there we go. <laughs> and uh, just like that, we are good. So now we can go back. Exit. Yeah, if I can spell it right. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Hold on. What's the what's the command to 
fucking there we go um i just completely my my typing's all off today so now we're going to do uh we're going to do copy uh running config to start config this will save the uh configurations you just did to the um rom and right now it's in the ram uh, just do enter unless you have multiple configuration files stored in the stored in the ROM. This will just just do enter enter, um, and just like that. Ugh, you're kidding me, huh? And just like that, we now have our banner. You can see we just set our banner. It says authorized access only. Um, we enter Cisco. Enter Cisco again. And all of our passwords and all of our changes are there. And now this, uh, what is this? This is a 2960 Catalyst. Will now work with other, with other devices on the network. Um, thank you for watching. I'm going to do a more in-depth configuration. But as it is right now, this device, your uh, address tables can all be um, configured and everything. So as of now, this device will work. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.